Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back to Thoughtful Thursdays. Maybe I should have waited till this train passes by. <laughs> Hope everybody's doing good today. It's hot today, 90 and windy, so let's get this devotion done before it gets too hot. Uh, the big picture. The verses, I lift up my eyes to the mountains. Where does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. Psalms 121, 1 and 2. We spend a lot of time focusing on what's right in front of us. Meals to prepare, children to feed, errands to run, calendars to manage, not to mention our phones. Sometimes we charge right through a day and hardly stop to catch our breath. The world is full of advice and slogans telling us our lives are what we make of them. That is all up to us. That it is all up to us. That if we use the right products and download the smartest apps and implement the best practices, we can crush this life. Crush. How has a word meaning to destroy become a synonym for achievement? <clears throat> ah, but when we lift our eyes, the big picture emerges. The long view comes into focus. Our gaze resets, arrests on the mountains, on the beauty and majesty of something far beyond our control. The Lord created heaven and earth, including these soaring peaks that catch our eyes and pull us out of ourselves. They loom over the landscape season after season, often shining white in the sun, in the evening at times purple black against a blazing sunset, and sometimes concealed in storm clouds. The mountains remind us that we are all one small aspect of God's creation. And yet, we are so dear to his heart that he knows us and he helps us. Even to the point of sacrificing his son to save us. Our God is so good to us. Praise his name. O oh Lord, my creator, thank you for being my help. Help me to look up frequently to see the mountains and remember who I am. Just one person in your beautiful creation and yet your beloved and valued child. Did you ever just get caught up in a sunset, <clears throat> excuse me, or some type of nature that really did just pull you out of yourself and you just kind of lost yourself for a moment in the beauty of what God has created. And this is even on the bad side of things, you know. This is the fallen world. This is not the new world that's to come. So just imagine the beauty he has in store. Yesterday, I was watching a uh, cardinal family that's right outside our front door in the shrubs um the mom was talking to the babies trying to get it to come fly with her and teach it it was just she was chirping so loudly i didn't know if she couldn't find the bird or if she was you know giving it a good talking to <laughs> oh there's the mama right there you want to see it she comes out here often. Sorry. Let's see if you can see it. It's on. There, it just flew down. Right out there past that. <clears throat> but anyway, because you know the mama cardinal is like a brown, not a red. The dad is the one with the bright color. So let me just walk over here and show you. I've just planted some of my um, peppers. And I did it right before it stormed, so I'm hoping that they stay okay. Um, my herbs are up there in that box. 
These are Tasha zinnias that she gave me. The nasturtium, I'm going to have to plant more because they're starting to die off. There's only like one that really got up there. Okay, here's my daughter wanted to pull up, so yeah. She lays out there to tan. She won't listen. So I put, um, I hope you can see, it's hard for me to see here. I put um, these cups around my squash seeds because I heard that that helps stop the vine borers from getting up into it. Here's my corn and okra. It's doing so-so. At least it's coming up. I'm hoping you guys can see. Okay. And there's my potatoes. I think they're red or russet. I think I bought the wrong kind. I was looking for golden Yukon, but they were out of them. There's my lemon balm. And, um, make sure you can see my strawberries down there. Not doing too great. <clears throat> Last night I came out here and sprayed with neem oil because I had found a bunch more little things on the beans down here. There's the, be the peas, the tomatoes. That was looking a little rough. The volunteer tomato, the carrots, these are the beans, or peas I have to look, but there was stuff all over them. I sprayed with neem oil. Looks like they're doing way better this time. I don't see them. Collards coming up, I'm just trying. These are my little peppers back there in the back. This is a decoy to hopefully stop the cabbage moth from laying eggs. Oh, there's a cobweb right there. Okay, guys, so I hope you guys are all having a good week, and we'll see you next Thursday. Have a great rest of your week. God bless. Bye.